Good morning, guys. Usually don't follow gossip and definitely don't keep up with the Kardashian. But this morning I woke up with the news of Kourtney Kardashian is engaged. So I decided to do a video of a full breakdown of her ring. But before that, I, I decided to, you know, put my best foot forward on creating a Kardashian inspired outfit. Here's my purse. Let me turn it around for you guys. Okay, I feel like the sister always wears like neutral color or solid color. So this is what I can put together first thing in the morning. Okay, let me set everything up so we can do a full breakdown of the ring. I need my iPad so I can really zoom in. All right, hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bonnie with By Bonnie Jewelry, where I talk about all things diamond. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at By Bonnie Jewelry and subscribe to my channel because I talk about everything bling bling. Okay, so woke up to the news. Courtney is engaged. I'm actually surprised because uh, her and Travis Barker has only really officially started or well, confirmed dating since February of this year. So it's a pretty quick engagement. So first let's talk about how he proposed. Oh my God, classic. Tons of roses surrounded by in front of the beach, one of Ro Rosewood's hotel. Uh, I think according to E, it's like one of their favorite places. I, I, he kind of kept it simple and just elegant in front of the beach with roses. I, I think that's very beautiful. And I also read that uh, families and friends were waiting inside the hotel after the purple, after the surprise proposal. And I think this is the best. Whenever my clients sit in my chair and like they're trying to uh, plan and elaborate um, engagement, I always say like try to keep it like a little simpler. So it's like, you know, the most important thing is like after you get proposed to you want to show all your friends and family your ring and like you know able to share that happy moment with your loved one so i love that this is how he did it is so romantic all right now let's break down her ring okay so it is like i said it's an oval diamond okay i have this tool here which is what we call millimeter, millimeter gauge this is what we use to uh estimate how big a stone is without actually weighing the diamond on the diamond scale. So I'm looking at her finger. She, well, I just happen to have black nail polish as well. So perfect timing. And the shape is the same. Oh my God, we're twinning. Okay, so her finger size looked about the same as me. So let's see, the diamond, it starts right underneath here where uh, her knuckle part is. So I'm gonna measure there and it covers almost to the bottom of her finger. So right now I have the gauge at approximately 15 millimeter, okay? So 15 millimeter can be anywhere between like, so if it, if it is measure the length at 15, she's at about like just under 12 carats or depending on how wide it is. So if I push it a little bit more, to like eight uh to like 18 millimeter which is i feel like approximately the right size could be um that's about 13 carats so i'm guessing her diamond is anywhere between 11 and 14 carats okay uh that's a big honking ring okay and then look at the let, let's look at the ratio of the diamond for those of you who don't understand what ratio is is basically length divided by width so you can see how long the stone is so her stone here i would say anywhere like just judging from looking at diamonds all day long maybe anywhere between 143 to 150 maybe but it looks great on her finger honestly the millimeter of the band it's very dainty so i want to say it is about like no more than two millimeter i mean the thinner the ring is the bigger the rock looks uh it's a big rock i want to say this is done on white metal like platinum uh because i don't i don't see any color uh, at all the center stone i would say is colorless it looks pretty white facing up just by the photo um and i would estimate this ring dollar value wise if it was like about you know anywhere between 11 to 14 carats colorless i would say one to 1.5 million dollars okay i am loving it it's so beautiful
Okay, zooming in in a little bit more details, I definitely see some um, diamonds coming out on the side. So it definitely has either a hidden halo or full diamond basket. I can't see from under the diamond, but for sure it has a hidden halo because I can see the diamond sparkle like peeking out on the side. Okay, I definitely think Travis did an amazing job on her ring because it's very classy. It's so elegant. All you see is the big, beautiful rock in the middle. This is definitely something that a lot of my clients actually love. If you haven't watched any of my videos, I've made multiple videos that you can check out on this exact same ring. So if you want to get the exact same look as Courtney, you know where to find me. All right, you guys, I don't really follow gossip news. I do when it involves diamonds, but that is it. If you love my video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Bye Bunny Jewelry. And if there are other celebrity rings that you want me to break them down, make sure you leave them in the comment below. Once again, congratulations to the couple and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.